Hello, it's me again, still making smudge sticks. That's right, my voice is going. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I thought whilst I was here, I would talk about some of the plants. Little spider, would you? Oh, two little spiders, look at them. Go, go on. Go make your home somewhere over there. <laughs> um, I have made some smudge sticks, they're here. Got them hang up. These are sage and thyme. These are the sage and mint. They're going to, when I hang them up to dry, I'm going to hang them up to dry in a very sunny window. So what I've got left is rosemary and mint. So I've taken all the, the really huge twigs off the rosemary. Not this one though. I'm going to keep that one on. Um, I love the feel of rosemary stems. They're very, they're almost like velvet. So, sorry, this is. <laughs> Let me see if I can straighten this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so um, the reason why there's not a lot of rosemary here is because my rosemary has been too disturbed this season. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because rosemary is a plant that, okay, it's not an English native. But, especially in England, I don't know what it's like in other places, but in England, your best bet with rosemary is to plant it, whether it's in the pot or in the ground, and then leave it. Try not to disturb it. Water it very occasionally. If it's in the ground, unless you're having a heat wave and a drought, don't water it at all. Rosemary does very well if it's just left alone to do its own thing. It's kind of like a guardian. I like to think of rosemary as a guardian. And that's um same as actually foxgloves. Foxgloves are thought of as a guardian um, of the garden. But that's because foxgloves are considered the medical thing. If, if, fox glo if foxgloves grow somewhere, the plants around them grow well. So I have my rosemary and I have some mint. Now some of this mint I'm just going to keep and dry out and some of it. Look little spider, get on the leaf and go that way. Go on, no, no, that way, that way. <laughs> so I'm just going to make a couple more smudge sticks. So I've got two of the sage and mint. I've got three sage and thyme. And I'm going to split this into roughly two piles. I'm going to have two of the mint and uh, rosemary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the um, pieces of mint that are more, so I like that one, I quite like that bit but I don't like the end bit. Um, yeah, so I, I just wanted to talk about rosemary, really, and, and how it grows. Now, I've dropped something on my foot. <laughs> when, I'm, <laughs> when I'm playing with plant matter, I always get a bit worried that when I've dropped something on my foot, it's going to be something alive and creepy and crawly. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd talk, to, talk about the way I grow my house. So thyme. Thyme does like to grow either in a pot or over a near, if you plant it in good soil, but let it go near a rock, it'll creep over the rock and it likes to have a few rocks to sort of like weave around. Like I said, rosemary just likes to be left alone. <laughs> just leave it alone, it doesn't like to be bothered. And that way it'll just do its thing. Um, it'll guard your garden, it'll guard your family. Um, it, I thought there was a big spider there. <laughs> I'm not that afraid of spiders, really. <laughs> um, yeah, so the rosemary will, um, it can represent your ancestors. Um, for me, it does, because rosemary, you know, as, as the old rhyme says, rosemary is for remembrance. Now, 
once again as with everything I do as far as I'm concerned if you don't agree with that then don't agree with it don't change your mind just because someone tells you that you're doing something wrong because the way you do it as long as it's right for you then it is right you don't want to be swayed by other people so that's a gorgeous color purple on there that's what I love about mint is you get that lovely purple sort of bit there so yeah don't don't be swayed by what other people tell you is is right or wrong do what you think and what you feel is right and don't let any other bugger tell you different it's you know it's it's nice to learn from other people but don't let other people tell you outright it's better to work things out for yourself than it is to you know blindly follow some someone else i'm just waffling on because i'm doing this was <laughs> so all my little bits of rosemary here i'm going to scatter throughout this mint and then i'm going to put more mint on top if i can find some decent bits <clears throat> so as i said i mean as you see this was gathered today and it's already wilted quite a lot but I am going to keep a lot of the stem uh, because it's going to hold together the stick better as far as I'm concerned and I will be using quite a lot because mint for all its veracity whilst it grows um, will shrink down to almost nothing um, when it's dried it, it disappears so much and like I said I'm, I don't mind if the flowers are there or oh, this I've had to bandage up my finger as I've been tightening up the string the string's been digging into me I've got very weak skin <laughs> Oh dear, so I, like I said, I should have been wearing my gloves because my hands have not been good lately. My skin is very weak and I don't know why. I will quickly explain this whilst I'm flapping around. So I make my own hand cream because I suffer terribly with very, very dry hands. And I've used the same one and also I use one from Avon that I absolutely love because I love the smell of it. It's a shea butter and something hand cream. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I've used those for quite a while. And then suddenly last night, as, oh, that's pretty. As I was um, putting on my hand cream, for no reason whatsoever, my hand came up in, it looked like, um, stinging nettle rash all up my all up my hand and started spreading up up my hand and into my arms so I had to um wash everything off and every now and then I think you know it happens to a lot of people you know you just everything seems fine and then your body decides to say yeah don't like that today <laughs> so as you can see I am piling this on because there's some really pretty ones here. I'm not too sure about that bit there though. I'm going to take that bit there off. I don't like that bit there. So there's some really nice little bits down there. So I'm going to have those there. So yes, I wanted to just quickly refer to the plants and how they like to be grown. Like I said, in your part of the world or in your part of the country even, it may be different so bear that in mind so I've got to choose a colour now I want purples or blue blue would be nice any blues? blues 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 so yeah <coughs> that's it I'm now going to tie these up so the sage and thyme I've done with the red the sage and 
no the sage and mint I've done with the red the sage and thyme I've done with the green and the rosemary and mint I'm going to do with blue and then I shall have to write it down somewhere or else I'll forget and by the time they're dry I'll, like, I'll be like what are I using this again <laughs> because I've got the video so there you go that's a very hopefully short part two of um sorry I'm just so desperate for coffee my voice is going um of more about the plants that i used um with making these bundles and like i say i've, I've never used this much mint in a bundle never used sage before ever in making a bundle never used this much mint i'm going to see how it smells because the rosemary is very very strong the rosemary i grow is you can see it's it's a long leaf rosemary it's very strong but the mint is quite mild so we'll see how it goes right I'm going to tie these up now and take them downstairs to my south facing window so it gets as much sun as possible for the next few weeks and uh, then I'm going to pick one to burn I think it's going to be that one <laughs> earmarked this one for myself because it is actually slightly smaller than the others oh no it's not it's just that one's slightly longer this one's slightly longer um yeah and i'm gonna see how they burn and uh if it goes really well i'll i'll, <laughs> I'll show you that it worked <laughs> like i said um it's very much when you're making sage uh not sage bundles smudge sticks um, certain um, plants will do very well being tied up tightly others you don't have to worry so much the reason I've done these so tight is because the sage is a very fleshy um, leaf so I know when it dries it's going to shrink down quite a lot so I wanted to do them quite tightly um, whereas the rosemary don't have to worry about so much so anyway right i'm going to go and hopefully not damage my fingers anymore wrapping these up and uh pop them in my like i said my south facing window to dry out as much as they can over the next few weeks and then i'll be back in a few weeks with these particular ones and pick one and let you know what it how it's going that's it and I hope the lighting was okay this light is terrible oh dear that's it I'm gonna sit bundle these up drink coffee and watch YouTube videos <laughs> thank you for watching witchy people I'll be back very soon bye for now